Hello, Chris Richter here and welcome back to ricochet.com.au and we're going to look at Moodle 4.0. I'm going to take you through the first three things that I noticed about Moodle 4.0, which was released late last year. These three things are more about the user interface and usability, but they were three things that I thought they have really done a good job of improving those for this release. I'm also going to mention one of the things that I wasn't quite so happy with that yeah, it was okay, but I'm not quite sure about that yet, but we'll have a look at one other thing as well. Um, first of all, though, before we go any further, uh, make sure you check out the band Empire Between. Go and Google them, look at them on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, all of those. Make sure you check them out. Okay, item number one is the edit mode. You used to have to go to edit mode, you would go into a course, and if I jump into a course, and I can go into this one here, move that out the way, and then to edit, I'd have to click on more and then edit and it would be in a drop down list. And that was sort of this double click, click thing to get editing, to be able to edit things. But I can turn edit mode on in the top right hand corner just by selecting edit mode and that button stays up there. And it's just made life so much faster, quicker and easier when you're editing content in Moodle. So that's number one, the edit mode. Number two is the left hand navigation. Check this out. Previously, we would have start here and tasks and some other buttons above that as well. But in this navigation for our course, we actually have start here and then you can also open that up and see each of the activities inside start here. So in tasks, here is all our other activities, all perfectly navigatable. That is a word I'm sure it is. So that's number two, the navigation for courses, which I think they did a great job with. It's something that a lot of people have asked for. I've been hoping that it would happen and it would end up being part of uh, the new Moodle interface. And there it is. It's absolutely fantastic. Works really, really well. Number three, which is something that if you've edited courses before, this is something you will notice and you go, yes, this has made life even better. When it comes to moving content around in a course, typically you would go into a page or you would view uh, the list of pages or activities and then you would have to click on an icon that says move and then you would have to navigate to where you want to go and once you get there you then click on that item go into it then you have to click on another arrow that says add here in the right spot where you want to add it and hopefully you clicked on the right button and it adds it in the right spot it just took forever very slow not at all fun to do but now We've got edit mode turned on. All we have to do, if we want to move our new page that we've got here down to the bottom of the tasks collection, all we have to do is drag down here, click on my new page, drag and drop just there. And there it is. It's been moved. That's all we have to do. It's quite simple. So if we need to move any pages from pretty much anywhere, we just go back to the main page of the course where all of our activities are, where our content, and all we need to do is just drag, and we can drag from the left-hand side as well, so I can move these around and reorder in the left-hand navigation as well. It doesn't matter. Either way is fine. So that was the third thing that I thought was absolutely fantastic that they did with it. It's made things so much quicker, uh, a lot faster to create content. So if there's anything that you think that they've added that is noteworthy, please mention in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. But I also mentioned before there was one thing I didn't really like or I found difficult to start with. And that was when I went to copy a course. So when I first started using Moodle 4, I put together a quick course. I needed to make some copies of that course. And I'm going, okay, we're in a course. We go to more and we go copy course. And straight away, copy course isn't even there. I thought, what's going on? How am I supposed to copy a course? Anyway, I did find it. It's under course reuse or reuse however you want to pronounce it if you click on course reuse you'll then find a drop down that gives you import backup restore copy and reset now originally i thought that was really annoying because it took me a while to find that to start with what i have noticed is that because all of these buttons here are under this one sort of sub area it's made this menu here a lot shorter so it's it's actually made it it's been quite sensible. I thought it, in the end I have decided it is quite sensible and practical. But to start with, I just wanted to copy a course and I couldn't find the button anywhere. I thought I'm going to have to go and Google this in a minute. Um, it should be more intuitive than this. But hopefully that's been useful to you. If you found anything you dislike as well about the new interface, um, yeah, put in some comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are and what you think. 
Uh, I'm also putting together the Moodle 4.0 course, uh, which will take you through how to use Moodle 4. Uh, as a teacher and as a content creator, how to put everything together. If you're interested in that, um, put a comment down the bottom as well. I'll make sure that you find out as soon as that course is released. And I hope that's been useful to you and uh, I hope you enjoy. I'll talk to you soon.